Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the garage. This is my 2022 Tesla Model Y long range. Today's video, I want to talk about buying a used Tesla, specifically about the full self-driving option. Does it stay with the car? How does it stay with the car? How do you tell if a car, a used car you're looking at has the full self-driving capability, the, just the computer, or does it have the subscription service? Let's talk about that. Again, this is a 2022 Tesla Model Y. So if you go into the car, so if you're, if you're talking to a dealer or a seller, you want, you want to see the software screen. So if you go to the menu option here, that's the car menu. It pulls up this screen here. You have all these different options here. Where do you, where you want to go to is you want to go to software, and then you want to look here. So see, this first line under the VIN number is going to say autopilot computer. It's going to has the this one has the full self driving computer. Now some dealer might think, oh okay, this has the full self driving package, so I'm just going to advertise it as such. That's not the case. Underneath here, this has the included packages in the car. So my car has just the regular base autopilot. I do have the acceleration boost, I purchased that previously, and then premium connectivity, this I have it automatically renewing every month. So if this had the full self-driving subscription, you would see it say full self-driving capability or connectivity, it, it, full self-driving would be indicated down here as a package, not just having the computer. Now here's an example, this is a Tesla Model 3 that I got as a service center loaner. I got this the last week, and it had the full self-driving computer. It was a 2019. It had not only the computer, but it also had the full self-driving package enabled in the car. So you can see the difference between between my Model Y that doesn't say anything, and then my this loaner th 3 said that it has the full self-driving package. So that's how you're going to know whether it has the full self-driving or not. So you want to see this software screen. You also want to have the seller pull up this information, additional information screen and have them take a picture of that. So that way you can see what processor it has, if it has the garage door opener, you can see if it has um, the CCS adapter support. You can see this full self-driving computer in here. So this gives some good information when it comes to looking at a used vehicle. Another good way to know exactly the type of uh, packages that you're getting on a car is if you buy a used one. So if you go into the menu here at tesla.com, you can go into vehicles and then you go into used cars, and then you can filter these cars based on the option that you want to see. So just as an example, let's say you want to look at a Model 3 used. You put in your zip code there, uh, but you also maybe want to look at uh, full self-driving. So if, let's say you want to look at full self-driving and we want to search from low to high. You can see the cheapest Model 3s right here. You can get one for $26,800, a Model 2018 that has the full self-driving subscription on it right now. That's a pretty good deal. So it says right here, full self-driving capability. That's what it says under the packages when you look on the uh, software screen. So that one's a pretty good deal because not only are you getting uh, you're getting the car, but you're also getting a $15,000 upgrade when it comes to the uh, full self-driving. So there's a lot of options here when it comes to that. Here's another example of a, you can filter by model. So this is a Model S. It's the Model S Performance, and it's a 2020. This one's in California. $62,200. Uh, it's, it's got the ludicrous performance, but it has the full self-driving option. So see it says full self-driving capability. I have the filters, I have the filters on for full self-driving. A buddy of mine bought one similar to this, and this is a good way to buy a car because you know exactly the package it's going to get. You know that exactly all of the, the, the features, there's no questions, does it have full self-driving, does it not? And usually Tesla sells their, their used cars at a pretty competitive price. So that's one tip that I would give if you're looking at a used Tesla. I would look for one that has the full self-driving package already included because for example, this uh, on the Tesla website, the ones that have full self-driving are not a whole lot more than ones that don't. And if you were to buy a new one or order a new one right now and you wanted to add that on, it's a $15,000 option, which is which is a very high price. Whereas you might only pay $1,000, $2,000 to $3,000 more for a car that's used that has the full self-driving package or capability already paid for that's going to stay with the car for the rest of the life of the car. Also, it's interesting that the full self-driving capability, the package that you buy, it stays with the car. It doesn't follow you as the owner. So if you go to sell the vehicle, it stays with the car. It doesn't stay with you. If you buy a new car, you've got to repurchase that. Now, one thing Tesla is doing right now, if you currently have a car, this is a quarter three of 2023. If you have a car that has the full self-driving option capability right now, you can transfer that to a new car, a new Tesla, 
buying a new one that Tesla's allowing that kind of a one-time exception right now in, in Q3 2023. So if you have one and you're considering a new one, I think it's a good uh, kind of a goodwill option that Tesla's doing so that to, to sell a new car and you can transfer your full self-driving. Now that full self-driving goes away on the on the existing car. It goes to the new car. One other tip I want to pass along. I had a buddy, another buddy, buy a 2019 Model 3, just a standard range rear-wheel drive. It's kind of like the base, the base uh, trim, the base the Model 3. When he got it, he did not have autopilot enabled. It was not an included package, and I was shocked to know, like, wow, in 2019 they didn't have autopilot as just a base included package. It wasn't. It's a three thousand dollar upgrade to upgrade to autopilot. So that's a huge thing, especially if you're looking at these Model 3s. Because we just saw one on Tesla website for $26,800 that has the full self-driving. And probably one that doesn't have autopilot, you know, used one, might be selling for a similar price. So there's a huge difference in the self-driving capabilities of one that does not have autopilot at all. It just has basic cruise control to one that also has full self-driving. So make sure you're looking at that software screen so you know exactly what kind of autopilot package. Autopilot's a must. So make sure it at least has autopilot. If you can get the full self-driving, that's a, that's a big bonus. This is helpful to know, especially if you're looking at a car or if a car, if a, a dealer or a, a private party is trying to sell a car and they're trying to advertise it as full self-driving, you'll know for sure looking at the software screen whether or not it's going to have that capability or not and whether it's going to be worth the price that they're asking or you can kind of negotiate from that point. I'm not in the market for a used one, but if I'm in the market right now for a used Tesla, I would be looking on the tesla.com website or scouring uh, you know, classified ads like uh, you know, cars.com, Auto Trader. Facebook Marketplace, eBay, I would be looking on those and I would be looking for a car that has the full self-driving capability. And that's going to be cars SX3, Y, uh, 2018 or newer. I, that's, that, that, those are the years that I would look. And I would be looking for a car that has the full self-driving package already included because from what we're learning from, tes from on, on Tesla's earning call this last quarter, uh, Q2 earning call 2023, Elon Musk continues to reiterate the point that Full self the full self-driving package that it's $15,000 now to buy, that's going to be worth so much more in the future. And so people are asking, like, why don't you lower the price on this? And he's like, no, we're not going to lower it because it's going to be so much more valuable in the future. So it's, it'd be worth it to buy to pay $1,000 to $3,000 more for a car right now that has that. And it's going to be that could potentially you know be a lot more valuable in the future and you don't have to pay fifteen thousand dollars for it that full full self-driving package has only gone up in price when it first came out it was like five thousand dollars it's gone up to you know seven to eight ten twelve fifteen thousand dollars from what we're what we're seeing from the trend with tesla is it's only going to go up in value and so if you have a car that's that has the full self-driving capability included with the car that's going to make that car exponentially more valuable than a car that does not have it Guys, there's a lot of good deals on used Teslas right now. This isn't like the pandemic, you know, 2020 through 22, we were just seeing there wasn't a lot of inventory, there were shortages, you couldn't find a car if you wanted one, there was long wait times for new ones. That's not the case anymore. We're in August of 2023, there's a, there's a lot of used ones available. New ones are sitting on Tesla's lot, so you can get a new one at a really good deal. So if you're a buyer for a Tesla right now, it's a great time to buy one. Like I was saying, I would look for one with full self-driving enabled. But I do think buying, buying a used vehicle from Tesla is a good idea, mainly because you can search the entire country, you can search your whole inventory fleet for be, you know, between $500 to $1,000 it gets transported to your local service center, you just go to, or your delivery center. You go there, you pick it up. Tesla just makes ordering and buying a car from them extremely easy. On their website, you just go there, you hit, hit, hit the information, you hit order. Like It's almost as easy as buying something on Amazon. So it's, it's pretty easy. It's kind of fun to buy a car from Tesla because they do make it so easy, convenient. Especially if you live close to a delivery center, you can get that car delivered right there. You just go pick it up. So it's a, it's a very stress-free, it's a very easy buying process. If you're buying from a dealer, though, one thing that's new for for uh, this is August of 2023 is that Teslas are now eligible for the used vehicle tax credit of $4,000, but it has to be under $25,000. The income limits are a lot lower. So if you qualify and the, the car is being bought from a dealer, that could be a good option because you could get an additional $4,000 off come tax time next year on a used Tesla. And all, all of the Teslas, the, the SX3Y, they all qualify for the tax credit. But really, we're only seeing 
S's and threes that are under $25,000 and there's not a whole lot. Hopefully this gives you some information when looking at a used Tesla, especially if they're advertising full self-driving, have them show you that software screen and additional information screen so you can see exactly the packages and software included services that are included with the car. Also, leave your comments down below if you have any other good tips when buying a used Tesla. Leave those down below. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, use my referral link if you order a new Tesla for discounts and incentives, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.